Yo, what be the drip, YouTube? It's your boy, Zach, and I'm back with Zach Reacts, and today, we about to break down JBZ Lots Happen lyric video. This is the track I just posted on the 4th of April, and this is a new single from an upcoming album that I'm working on called Always Strong Volume 3. Y'all know I'm gonna keep coming with these Always Strong albums. I got to. It's, it's sort of my thing, but this is called Lots Happen, and basically, the song's about me taking break from raps and, and, and talking about my real shit that's happened and you know let, let's get right into it it's a lyric video i'm about to break it down for y'all you know normal shit let's get right into it just so y'all know a little bit of an easter egg the woman saying always strong productions is my girl her name's christy my girlfriend she she did that for me and uh I used it and it's fucking fire. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Things are changing, gotta accept this shit. Damn. Damn. Gotta cope with dope ass music, hoping the chaos diminish. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I lay with her, I race to the finish. Cause I ain't trying to hurt my girl, but sometimes I'm an annoying prick. True. I get Okay. Alright, let's break that shit down. So, I said, things are changing, gotta accept this shit. Yeah. Things are changing, gotta accept this shit. Basically saying that, that my life has changed, and, and there's a lot of changes in my life, and I just gotta accept change. I gotta, I gotta take it, and I gotta accept it. Damn, Damn. gotta cope, write dope-ass music, hoping the chaos diminish. Gotta cope, write dope-ass music, hoping the chaos diminish. So the chaos in my head, you know, I've talked to people about it, and they're saying, gotta cope with it. You gotta, you gotta learn to cope with that, with that chaos in your head. So I said, I gotta cope, write dope-ass music, because the, the music that I write helps my chaos diminish. Every time I lay with her, I race to the finish. Every time I lay with her, I race to the finish. I'm talking about my girl. Every time I lay with her, I race to the finish. You know, I'm talking about sex, finishing, like coming. But I race to the finish because when you're in a race, you want to race to the finish line. All right. And then I said, because I ain't trying to hurt my girl, but sometimes I'm an annoying prick. I ain't trying to hurt my girl. When you prick something, like you prick your finger, it hurts. I ain't trying to hurt my girl, but I'm sometimes I'm an annoying prick. An annoying prick in your finger, like that that that's annoying that you pricked your finger, but also annoying prick because sometimes I can make her angry, I can make her annoyed, you know, that type of shit. And then I said true in the background. Shout out true. Uh an old homie of mine, another diss, true was an annoying prick, so y'all get it. I ain't trying to hurt my girl, but sometimes I'm an annoying prick. True. I get it, I don't have to hear it every single fucking day. Yeah, I, see. I get it, I don't have to hear it every single fucking day. She, you don't have to tell me every day I'm an annoying prick, I get it. And I apologize to her, and I, you know, I, I try to make it up to her. Sometimes I, you know, I don't understand why I'm an annoying prick, but I am. So I can fade away the thoughts flying through my brain. I smoke so I can fade away the thoughts flying through my brain. That was one reason I used to smoke. I've been on a break for a minute now, but I used to smoke to 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 fade away the thoughts in my brain. But fade away because you're faded when you smoke. That's a bar. Every single fucking day, yeah, I smoke so I can fade away the thoughts flying through my brain. Next act, I might have to hit center stage and flip the page. Let next act, I might have to hit center stage and flip the page. Hit center stage in the next act, cause plays I used to do plays. So in the next act, I have to hit center stage, which means center of the stage, and flip the page. Basically saying I gotta flip the page of the script to the next act. You know what I'm saying? The thoughts flying through my brain Next I got my have to hit center stage And flip the page Listen as everybody got shit to say Listen as everybody got shit to say Nobody can keep their mouth shut Nobody's going to keep their mouth shut Everyone's going to have an opinion Fuckers. It's the culture Running our mouths eating like vultures Yeah that, it's actually funny. It's actually 404 right now And I posted this track on 404 How coincidental is that? That's so weird But anyway, back to the track It says um, it's our culture, running our mouths, eating like vultures, culture vultures, but it's also part of the culture. People run their mouths, they have shit to say, I have shit to say about these songs. People on the internet have shit to say about other people's verses, other people's songs, you know, everything. People have shit to say nowadays. It's the culture. We're running our mouths and we're eating like vultures, because these vultures eat. They like to eat this shit. They like the beef, they like the, you know, they, they look for prey. You know what I'm saying? 
think it's time to make things right. Y'all try and hide the old voice. You know who you are. You know who you are, why I'm talking about you. When it's time to make things right, y'all try and hide the old verse. I ain't trying to poke nobody. I ain't trying to po point nobody out in the video, but y'all know who I'm talking to. Well, if you don't, then you can come ask me personally. But it, you, you, you know who you are. So when it's brought up, y'all seem to forget what you stole first. So when I bring it up again, y'all seem to forget. Like, y'all playing it like, oh, it's, it, you know, I didn't mean that shit. Because you want you want clout, because you want my my views. You want me to watch your fucking video, break down your fucking song, but you forget what you said in the old verse, what you meant. You forget the beef that we had, you know. Yeah, like I said, like I said, y'all know who I'm talk. If y'all don't know who I'm talking to, hit me up. But you know who you are, specific person. And hide the old verse. So when it's brought up, y'all seem to forget what you stole first. I'm finally happy with my life now that I get to hold her. Okay. I'm finally happy with my life now that I get to hold her. I was desperate. I was, you know, being single. I was I was lonely. I was depressed. Now that I got a good girl that I can learn from, that I can hold, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm solidly happy with my life. I love my life. I love where I'm at and I'm happy. It's 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 facts. Hold up, let me spit real quick. Smooth trap in the mix. Fun fact, it actually used to be boom bap in the mix because I was going to put this on a boom bap beat, but then I found a smooth trap beat, so I changed the word from boom bap to smooth trap. Funny little Easter egg there. Accepting the change, added to my dropout to balance that shit. I'm going back to it to the change that I need to accept, but I work at a at, at a check cashing loan facility place, so you know I'm handling money a lot. People hand me the change, I accept the change, I add it to my drawer, and I want to make sure my drawer balances at the end of the night. So basically, I'm just spitting about that. But also, I need to also another another double on top of that is I need to balance the change that my life is taking. I need to balance the changes in my life, and, and I need to be able to balance all that out in my head. I've offered feedback on ways to change the cadence within. I've offered feedback on change the on ways to change the cadence within. Like I've done these videos offering feedback to these people who I don't think necessarily have the best flows, have the best cadence. I've offered feedback on ways to change the cadence within. And then I say, but now it's my turn to admit that things have changed a little bit. But now it's my turn to admit that things have changed a little bit. Back, back. Don't think I've changed my words. I'm not a virgin in this rap game. Don't think I've changed my words. I'm not a virgin in this rap game. I've rapped a lot. Like, I I even say it. I, I'm going to keep talking about it. But I'm not a virgin in this rap game. I've done this before. You know, I've had sex before. I've, you know, I'm not a virgin in this rap game. I've, you know, this is the shit that I do. I've rapped a lot of shit, I've left over the games. I've rapped a lot of shit, I've left over the games. I've rapped a lot of shit, and I'm saying true in the background, like, yo, that's a true fact. I've rapped a lot of shit, I've left over the games. I've rapped leftovers, leftovers. I've left over the games because you gain weight from all the leftovers I've been eating, but I've lost, y'all. Yeah. I've quit spitting because I thought I needed to wait, yeah. I quit spitting because I thought I needed to wait. I thought I needed a break from that shit to stop just all the stress of of putting out these songs and listening to what other people had to say. You know, it was overwhelming. But in all reality, that shit really made me insane. And that's why I started talking shit about a lot of people that I, maybe I shouldn't have been talking about because taking a break really made me insane. Made, made me sit here and think, I need this shit, bro. I need the rap. And I need those music to, to help. It's my therapy. You know what I'm saying? My mind started moving at light speed. I lost pounds. My mind started moving at light speed. I was going crazy, bro. My ADHD was going crazy. I lost pounds. You know, I actually lost some weight. I went from one from two to I went from two fifty to two twenty five in about two or three months. It, it was crazy. I worked out. Decided to change one thing. I was proud. I worked out. I decided to change one thing. The change that I was getting, there was one thing that wasn't changing, and that was my weight. I decided to change one thing, and I was proud. I was proud of myself. I was happy. My girl came into my life. I started working out. I started losing pounds, and I was happy. I lost some pounds, and I couldn't wait to tell y'all. Yes, I couldn't wait to tell y'all. I'm telling y'all now, though, in this fucking track, that I am proud to say that I have lost pounds.
But the more that I would wait, the more that I felt off. The more that I wait, the more that I felt off. The more that I would wait to tell y'all, the more something felt weird about it all. You know what I'm saying? Let me just explain what's all happened since I've been in my A. Let me just explain what's all happened since I've been MIA. I go on a scheme. MIA stands for missing in action. It was day one on my rap break. Wasn't that great. I focused on life's bullshit. Do the best of it away. I focused on all the stresses and the and the important stuff that my life was giving me. And I threw the best of it away. The rap, you know, the magic, the, the reaction videos, all that shit. I just, I stopped. Stopped spitting. Felt like I wasn't good at the rap game. Yeah, I had a little bit of insecurity. I stopped writing. I stopped spitting. Felt like I wasn't good at, at rapping. And then I made this song and it changed my mind. Nah, no trophies, no medals. Just balls on balls. Facts. I didn't get no trophies. I ain't got no medals from this shit. All, all I spit is bars on bars on bars. When I pulled up for a shot, I flopped. Facts, so I facts. stopped. When I pulled up for a shot, you know, you pull up for a shot. But you also pull up for a shot, because when you pull up in the car, bop, 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 I flopped because I got shot. I flopped, so I stopped because I pulled up for a shot. I'm also saying I flopped because I was not the best. The first time, the first time I pulled up to rap and wrote a rap song, I flopped. I was trash. I, I got to admit. Look back at all the shit I said. Try to hear the schemes I meant. True, I tried new flows, each different than the rest. Wow. I look back at all the shit I said. I, I went back and I listened. Tried to hear the schemes I meant. Tr trying to break down my my music. Trying to see where I went wrong. What, what, what I could do that was better. And it was true. I tried new flows, each different than the rest. Like, I, I, I did flows over and over again differently trying to see what would fit. Got a girl to live with me. Each day I am obsessed. Yeah, Still yeah. got her clothes. Y'all should know I think that she's the best. Yeah. And I, I, I'm talking about the things that are changing. So I tried new flows that was changing. And this always strong, uh, this always strong volume three is gonna have different flows in it too. Uh, and then I said I got a girl to live with me. Christy moved in with me in September. And uh, each day I'm obsessed with her. I love the shit out of her. She's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my entire fucking life. And uh, I said, uh. Got to go to live with me each day. I am obsessed. And then I said, I still got her close. Y'all should know that I think that she's the best. She means more to me than anything. And if I had to stop rap for Christy, I would. If I had to stop doing reaction videos for Christy, I would sacrifice this shit for her love. June 14th, I was blessed. And now I'm ready to vent. June 14th, I was blessed. That was the day that we met was June 14th, 2023, 61423. June 14th, I was blessed and now I'm ready to vent. I'm ready to talk about all this change. I'm ready to, to get this shit out. You know what I'm saying? I wanna give rap a shot cause every day in my heart I love it over and over again. I wanna give rap a shot because every day in my heart I love it over and over again. Every day I wake up and I listen to rap and I hear rap and I love it every single fucking day. That's why I wanna give it a shot because all I can get is better. You know what I'm saying? I wanna give rap a shot cause every day in my heart I love it over and over again. Always strong till the end with the girl in my head till I'm dead. Yeah. Always strong. Till the end, with the girl in my head, the new girl, till I'm dead. Basically saying, always strong, and Christy, until the day that I die. Those are the, my two loves, is always strong, and Christy, till the day that I die. Solid track, solid cadence, solid flow. I added ad-libs in there, which people have complained that I don't have many ad-libs. I felt like this was a solid track, one of my best that I've ever produced, Bren. Y'all ain't, ain't ready for this album, bro. Y'all ain't ready for this fucking album. But if y'all enjoyed that shit, let me know. I will be leaving a link in the description box down below to the track so y'all can go stream it if y'all want. And, uh, yeah. I, I'll see y'all in the next one. Always strong. Let's go.